Hello, my name is Steve Watts and I'm from a company called Yealink. Yealink design and manufacture their own comprehensive range of high quality but cost effective business class SIP handsets. And today I am here to present to you an overview of the features and functionality of two devices from the range, the T42G and T46G Gigabit SIP desk phone handsets. Laid out before me are all of the items from inside the Yealink T42G and T46G gift box. As you can see the components are the same for both models and despite the size differences the components actually connect in the same places for both devices and therefore I will now focus on the T46G. The first part of the installation is to connect the base to the main unit and this is done by turning the unit over, taking the base and then mounting it into one of these two positions here either this position or this position and those two positions just vary the tilt on the phone. The next thing to do is to connect the handset so take the short end of the curly cord plug into the handset and then Turning the unit over, you connect the other end into this here where it's marked with the handset and then feed the cable to these little guides just for tidiness. The next stage is to connect the power. Again, this is on the rear of the phone. And this PSU is for the UK market and one will be provided for your specific country. And the connector goes here. The final stage is connecting the Ethernet cable. But because the units support PoE, it's then an option as to whether you're going to connect an Ethernet PoE cable or not. If you are, of course, you no longer need the PSU. So we can actually remove the PSU and then install the PoE Ethernet cable into this slot here marked Internet. Once the units are assembled and powered up, the final stage of the installation is configuring the device. All of the Ailing devices support auto provisioning via various methods PNP, DHCP, TFTP, FTP, HTTP and securely via HTTPS. So if a configuration is available for download via any of these methods, the installation would now be complete. However, if the device needs to be manually configured, you can either press the menu button and work through the intuitive menu structure embedded into the device or you could use a suitable browser on your laptop browsers like Internet Explorer, Firefox or Chrome. If you do choose to use a laptop browser you will need to know the IP address of the device to enter into the browser command line and this is achieved by simply pressing the OK button. So now we have the T42G and the T46G fully assembled. As you can see the designs are very modern. The keys here have a metallic look, the screens have a liquid crystal surface design and the surfaces have a special scratch resistant design. The units apart from the physical size are similar in look but they do have some subtle differences. But let's first consider the similarities between the two units. Firstly, both the T42G and T46G both pass the TIA920 accreditation which ensures both devices support Optima high definition voice. Both the T42 and the T46G support full duplex hands-free phones. Both units have two gigabit RJ45 ports on the rear. One is the internet port for connecting into a network, the other is a PC port for connecting a PC. This means that both the PC and the device are being run from one Ethernet cable and one Ethernet switch port and this is known as dual gigabit Ethernet support. The T42 
supports connectivity of the Yealink electronic hook switch module, the EHS32. And this is for connectivity to wireless headsets. The T46G has a USB port and this is for connection of a Bluetooth module for connection to Bluetooth headsets or for connecting a Wi-Fi module. Both devices support headsets via this RJ11 port. The key differences between the two devices, apart from the physical size, are the displays. The T42G has a 192 by 64 pixel monochrome five line graphical display, whereas the T46G has a 4.3 inch 480 by 272 pixel color display. The T42G supports three SIP accounts and the T46 supports six SIP accounts. The T42 has six multifunctional keys and the T46G has 10 multifunction keys. And a clever switch key, which can be used under one of the keys, then doubles up the number of, of keys. In fact, on the T46, it triples them. So now we have nine keys, adding a total of 27 multifunction keys. In addition to these keys, the T46G can have attached up to six expansion modules, giving an additional 20 keys that are doubled by these keys twice. Both the T42G and T46G have four soft keys and both modules also have a series of fixed keys. Thank you for listening to my presentation and I trust you now have an understanding of the Yealink T42G and T46G Gigabit SIP desk phone handsets. As I have covered so many points, please continue to watch this summary of the key features of the T42G and T46G devices.